Hello, welcome to my channel Psychometric Solutions. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to evaluate multicollinearity within the context of multiple regression. In the SPSS, the multicollinearity can be evaluated with the help of the variance inflation factor and tolerance level. So, before this, let me discuss what is multicollinearity. A multicollinearity is a state of a very high intercorrelation or interassociation among the independent variables. The multicollinearity is a type of a disturbance in a data which, if present, can distort the data and the statistical inference about the data cannot be made and such inferences are also not reliable. How we can identify the multicollinearity? The multicollinearity can be assessed via through tolerance and various inflation factor or BIF. They are based on the R squared value obtained by regression or predictor on all of the other predictors in the analysis. The variance inflation factors and the tolerance are reported by most of the statistical program including the SPSS. The cutoff value for the tolerance is 0 0.10 whereas the value of 1.0 or more is for the variance inflation factor meaning that the tolerance should be 0 0.10 or greater and VIF or the variance inflation factor should not be greater than 10. So let's come to the SPSS. Here you can see we have four variables. The three variables are the independent variables while the fourth one is the dependent variable. We have these three dimensions of work engagement, vigor, dedication, and absorption, while the performance is the dependent variable. So in order to check whether there is a multicollinearity among these independent variables, we go to the analyze, then we go to the regression and click on the linear as we are checking this multicollinearity within context of multiple regression so that's why i'm running the multiple regression analysis here so the performance is a dependent variable so i enter this into the dependent while these three are the independent variables so i enter these three into the independent i click on the statistics then i click on the Collinearity, Diagnostics, and R squared change. Continue and I click on the OK. So here you can see the three variables of vigor, dedication, and absorption has brought almost 48% of change in the dependent variable of performance. While such association is significant, at point zero zero level. Now let's come to the collinearity statistics. You can see that all of the tolerance and the VIF values are within the acceptable range. That is, it is at least point one zero or greater, and it should be less than ten. So here these R values are within the acceptable range. So, this means that the data is not having any collinearity issues. So, I can manually calculate the tolerance and the VIF. For this purpose, I calculate the relationship Pearson correlation between the vigor and dedication. I go to the correlate. 
and I enter the vigor and the dedication and then I click OK. So I can see here the correlation between the vigor and dedication is 0.91. So I take the square of this 0.91 which is 0.82. So what I do is that I minus the 1 minus 0.82 and it's 18. So here you can see it's 18. So now this is this shows that the 0.18 value is unique and is not actually accounting for any type of collinearity in this uh, regression model. Now what I do is that I divide 0.18 over 1. And I get the value of 5.5. So here, rounding this, it shows the value of VIF as the VIF is reciprocal to the tolerance. So in this way, you can calculate the tolerance and the VIF. And you can know that whether there is any collinearity issues in the data and in this way you can run the regression analysis in a successful